Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, let's see if we can make up for my previous paladin attempt. This time, I have most of the removal from a basic constructed paladin deck. Not like all the rare stuff, which would be really nice, but most of the removal from a constructed paladin deck. Plus, I do have the Argent Bubble dies, whatever, the two guys who give the bubble. Uther. And Tyrion Forder. And a lay on hands. I have just as many lay on hands in here as in my real constructed deck. And more Tyrion Forderings. So, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of four cost stuff here. I think I'm going to ditch the Spellbreaker and hope I get something cheaper. Just for more options. Yeah, that's slightly cheaper. Okay. Well, you beat me to the punch somewhat, but I'm okay with uh, taking a little damage from your pig. I don't think there's any value in coining out a novice engineer. Next turn, I'll probably want to coin out the Raging Morgan, although that's a gamble, because, I mean, it, he still has all his cards. He might ha he has a good chance of getting rid of it somehow. Ow. Okay, now he has three damage worth of creatures. Four damage worth of creatures. Wow. That is rush-tacular. Holy crap. I'm not sure if I want to put out the Raging Morgan and have it just killed by two of those guys, but if I don't, I'm starting to take a lot of beat down. That's a lot of beatdown. Then again, if I coin him out, I can't do anything much next turn, so maybe I'll just make the token. It's really unfortunate, though, because this guy, in this particular situation, is actually going to own my, like, token guy. On the other hand, he doesn't have him to take dirt to strip uses off my weapons, but I have to live that long. Holy rush, Batman. Uh, drawing my Consecrate would be nice, but I only have one. That's one of my deficiencies. And then my opponent left. Just when I got a card that actually really helps. Well, it wasn't looking very good there, but there's a reasonable chance I could have come back. Because he'd burned a lot of cards on crappy, weak, early game stuff. So all I had to do was stop that momentum, and my larger, stronger cards would probably help me come back. But it'd have to stop the momentum somehow. The uh, the the two the two three taunt helped a lot for that, because he would he should have at least killed two of those guys, probably. Maybe not though. I mean by that point my opponent has enough mana he could hammer of justice or play his own decent sword instead of his crap sword, so who knows? You asked for it. I will. I'll take the free win. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I think I will. Oh, this is both of my silence guys. I don't want both my silence guys in my hand here. I'm going to keep him because he's a little larger. Yeah. I'll keep the Hammer of Wrath. I should probably have traded it for something else too, but. I don't want to have no things. Really? You want... It's not like it's bad to have them in my hand, but I mean, this is all the silence in my deck. I kind of like the idea of drawing one a little later on when it's more useful. Right now, I need more, like, forceful stuff, I would think. Although silencing that will probably be good. I know, I know silencing this will be good, but... Yeah. Still gonna take some beating though. You shoot the owl, hit me for three. Mind if I roll need? Or don't shoot the owl, okay. Yeah, that's true. You do have a one three there. I guess might as well. This will draw a card and everything. Wow, you are also not needed yet at this stage in the game. Reporting for duty. 
and it's kind of clogged here. Do you have any idea how much two-cost stuff is in this deck? I didn't look at the mana graph again, but the mana graph was very heavily weighted towards two-cost, so this is kind of annoying. Wow, that is super annoying, given that, given the crappy hand I have. At least I can sword, though. So you play the Raging Warrior, you'll get his ass kicked, though. I'm going to play this. And I'm going to kill this guy first. I mean, I could be screwed if she has an acid ooze, but otherwise, I can leave this around for her turn so that her minions are costing more, and then on my turn, I can kill that before casting. That's the plan. This hurts, though. Yay, it screwed her! Excellent. If I kill that, then I can Raging Worgen and bubble it, which is pretty awesome. So, I think that's our plan. Sword heals me enough damage to kill a two-attack creature. I mean, it is very tempting to silence this guy so she doesn't get another card, but at this point I need to get stuff out. And, boy, it's... A, it's I mean, a, a big Twilight Drake would be nice, but it's kind of hard to beat this plan. Even though a mage can just shoot it off, we, she demonstrated she doesn't have any. She doesn't have a lot of like two cost stuff in her hand, or probably doesn't have any three cost stuff in her hand because she could have paid four for it instead of shooting me for one. So, I mean, you definitely would have paid a th played a three cost creature instead of shooting me for one damage. Hmm. Do that, and then she might have removal. I guess frost bolt him. Aww. It is too bad. Do you need a blessing? Wow. He was already getting silenced, but now it's guaranteed. That's interesting, because I could make a 1-1 one -one guy instead of that, but I guess I'm going to play him on the off chance that he shoots her, because it would be nice. But he probably won't, and I'm probably going to be trading him for this. Your magic shall not save I do want to kill the card. Oh, that's right. Now, one, once I silence it, that works too. Okay. This is awesome. My responsibility. I am pretty far behind. I'm at almost half health. My opponent still has as many cards as I do. Although I do have stuff in play and she doesn't. Until she blizzards. Blizzard's a rare card. She probably doesn't have one, and but if she did, it would kill the knife thrower and mo almost kill him. She could finish him off next turn with a firebolt. Plus, he'd be frozen, so he wouldn't attack. I've already had all my silence go by this game. Now, I'm only two turns away from Tyrion Fordring, which is okay, but I haven't had anything to make her... Oh. Tyrion? No, not Cone. Okay. I certainly haven't had anything to force her to polymorph it yet. Ooh. So he can kill either of these two guys, which makes me tempted to Hammer of Wrath him. I'd like to get out the Twilight Drake, but it won't be that big, so... Get Azure Drake instead. It's just going to do one damage, though. I'd have to trade one of my guys unless I Hammer of Wrath. Hmm. Is it worth it, or should I just trade one of my guys? Because he's going to get shot next turn anyway. Yeah, he's going to get shot next turn anyway. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm going to play the Azure Drake. Because this is only going to be a 4-4 anyway, and I can't do much much else with the mana. This I can play, and I can at least make a token. Hmm. Who knows, I might get super lucky and have it end the token shoot that. I could play her... No, I'll just play a token anyway. 50-50 chance? Wow. 
That was very fortunate, because now she has to waste mana to kill him, although I, I sense an AoE coming now. Flame Strike would, will hurt. I was going to say would hurt, but we know it's going to happen. We know the Flame Strike is not coming. What the heck? Okay. Acceptable. Hey, no fair. We don't like those around here. So I, have, I could play Tyrion Ford Ring. I could play the Redemption. I'm very tempted to do my re, my standard Redemption trick now, which would be I. Well, I'd probably in this case I'd be playing the Twilight Drake first, but play Redemption and then trade the Spellbreaker for that. I wonder. And then the Spellbreaker will come back with one hit point. That's not that big a deal, actually. He would come back and get his bubble, so. I, I'll save this in case he uh, in case he doesn't get polymorph, basically. And I have the spell power, so I can actually just hammer of wrath that. So okay, Twilight Drake first, so I get the as much size as I'm gonna get out of it. And then kaboom! The battle. That's pretty strong. <clears throat> if she didn't have me dead last turn, I don't think she has me dead this turn, even though she's got one more mana. That's okay. That's probably not helping. I can't play Tyrion Fordring with that thing in play unless I can, because it could clone him. Okay, first we'll determine if it's a... It means I'm not playing him this turn, but I don't, that's okay, I'm winning now. First, we determine if it's a mirror entity. Yep. Playing Tyrion Fordring at that instant could, could have made me lose. Now we've got 2, 4, okay, 10, 15. Oh, I already had lethal damage. Whatever. <clears throat> okay. That was a pretty short two games since one of them was not a game, but I'm going to get all confused if I change my, like, numbering system, so I guess we'll just have to see how it goes next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.